Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Equestrian War. I'm your host, Mr. Princess Maximiliana Lover. But right now, um, I honestly cannot remember the last thing we read or talked about. But we're still at war with Gwing Body, and we're actually doing quite okay. Now, if you're going to read this one, please go right ahead. I completely forgot what we read about, but, you know, whatever. Um, one thing that really helped us out was that the Kingdom of Griffinstone actually went to war with them as well. With Grandpa Gruff, which means I should probably play as him too. But we're doing okay-ish right now. We're actually advancing because, well... As many of you recommended from your comments from the last video, we should fall back to a defensive line and just hold out there. And we kind of did, but here are the casualties thus far. Uh, we've taken about quite a few. These guys have taken quite a few. And they've taken almost a million. So, as you can see from the Falcorian Kingdom, we've done most of the damage. We've done a lot of the damage, even though these guys didn't take too many casualties. But you know what? That's okay with us. That is A A A okay with us. So, back to this one Rebel the Falcorian Warfleet. Our knave is a shadow of its former self. While never equal to wing body, has been reduced to virtually nothing. This must be addressed as we cannot expect wing body or whatever th all the threats we will come to face to ignore this gaping hole in our defenses. Which is a good thing. Now, if we can get over here, we could all these guys off in the north and probably can win from there on out. So, But it's 1013, my friends. 1013. Uh, nuclear stuff? Okay, why not? We, more, we could use more research speed, right? Absolutely. Keep pushing in. Ooh. Pieces of profession. Rebuild the Falcorian fleet, of course. And if we can get right here, that'd be so good. Cut them off in the north, and then we would probably have them. There we go. There we go. Kill all these guys off, off in the north. And we're not quite done yet. Ooh. With the land auction, but that's okay. So now, match the wing body and navy. Rely on existing capabilities. Maximiliana class. Jewels, guys, carry models. Which way are we going? We already have gone down Fleet and Binks, which would be the good one to do for us. Substrate interdiction. All these are just blueprints, so we'll probably go with Match of Wing Body and Navy. Falcor's Navy was once a mighty force, it could be so again. Wing Body's great navy is intimidating, but if we commit ourselves to an ambitious expansion project, we can create a war fleet that in time can even break them on the high seas, which would be pretty good. So we're across the streets, the seas, not trees, but seas. I think that too. But yeah. Um, as you can tell, they've lost a lot of guys. Actually, I wonder how bad part of that. Ooh! Nice. Uh, we're struggling a little bit more down here, which is fine. I'm mean, up here. This, this is really where we need to get rid of a lot of the enemies up here, so. Uh, we should do okay ish. Okay ish. I'm going to say no to that. Uh, we don't have a lot of. Yeah, we don't have a lot of pony power, do we? Or griffin power. We're already on service by Chrome. I do not want to go to all adult serve, but if we have to, so be it. Uh, where are we at? I want to finish this area off first, take as much as you can, and then destroy the divisions, and then let, and then we'll just destroy the guys down south. There you go, and, there you go. There. Hold, just hold, don't worry about it first, organization first, not bad. We can wait, just wait to get on the line first, and then we'll have a general attack, and we're completely out of pony power now, gosh darn it. Of course, trying to put down resistance is probably going to be a little difficult, too. Civilian oversight. Local autonomy would be a little bit better. And, yeah. Well, they're all down here. So let me go in and see what we can do. What if I told you to force the attack? What if we decided not to get any more... Um, oh, they're, they're doing force defense, too. So we're losing a lot of guys, but they're also losing... They're losing more than half their division. So that's actually really, really good. If that's the case, all don't serve. Match Wing Body Navy. Maximiliana class. The centerpiece of naval warfare is a great warship built to go forth and take on whoever dares across it. As we start designing our own battleships and the name for them seems evident. Who else has a greater heart for a nation in these last few years than the, than the young girl who rose to lead her nation when all others had failed? Good point. 13, 10, 14, 13. Some of that. And already we are out of it, which sucks. Yeah, we lost a lot of guys. 300,000. Of 1.5 million MS sets. Pretty decent, not gonna lie. Ball of Coffin. Could not have done so without Griffin Stone. Just absolutely would not have been able to. Perfect sense celebration. Oh, Achilles. Ooh, uh, oh. When did they become the Solar Empire? How do you get the Solar Empire? That's my question. Because a lot of people want me to play as them, but I'm not sure how to get them. Oh, look at that nice. Roberta. Like Robertussen? There we go. We have one. So I will be slightly fair and give this to. You guys. Even though I kind of deserve this one. 
You know, all that stuff. And so then these. Can we actually take them out too, maybe? Kind of would like that. We are mobilizing a little bit more now. So we won! Oh, hold on. We're going to restore the old capital. Matson was never meant to be the seat of our administration. It was a quick measure after the ceasefire was signed, but with Falkor restored to our rule, we can begin the grand procession to restore things the way they were. Every Griffin is eager to do so, versus this one. Woe to the vanquished. Carthen, well, she'll be given a new name to honor our, new royal, to honor our royal family and further humiliate the Wingbodians. Uh, let's do this one first. Give it to Civi first and leave that one. The reunification of Falkor. Many cannot believe it. Even Fedor could even suppress their tears at the sight. After nearly 20 years, the city of Falkor has been returned to us through a show of arms. Our plans for the resurgent conflict was to prepare a defensive line and avoid the mistakes of last time. The Wingbardian invasion stalled and got bogged down despite their superior numbers, and eventually we counterattacked and pushed them out of our nation. Followed by the retake of Falkor itself, and with many native Falkorians warmly welcoming the return of their country grips. Thus, after the war, with a peace settled and the Wingbardians pacified, the time has come for the seat of our capital to restore to Falkor. The event was commemorated with a large scale military parade, showcasing the disciplined Falkorian soldiers as well as captured enemy combatants and equipment. Princess Maximiliana announced a time of national healing, where rebuilding and mediation would be the focus of the government. Peace is expected to follow for the new future. Our people and our state are whole again. Remove Falkor enemy claws and remove unyielding revanchism. Oh, that sucks. We lose that. Oh, that sucks, man. Dang it. Eh, oh well. What well, matters that we got Falkor back? Uh, the exiles return. When Falco fell to the wing body, and countless griffins fled rather than to suffer under the rain. Now, with the return of our precious city, these exiles are coming home once more to their lost homeland. But a couple comments included. No. Someone else says, Just retreat to a more defensible terrain and let them waste your manpower on yours. Build a fallback line. Or fallback fort line. Someone else says, Can you play as the United States in the Make America Again mod? I can't play in that mod just yet because it's not updated currently at the time it's recording for Hoi 4. Someone else says, If you manage to win the war against Wing Bardi, the Falcorian Queendom has a unique formable if it conquers Sycamion, Arantiga, Francistria and Toulouse. That's kind of cool. And let's see. Quick match to the Navy. But, <coughs> excuse me. We're looking at industries. With the city of Falcor returned to our care, we can commence the process of moving vital industries and the apparatus of the state. The city shall be grand and great again, just like in the stories the old Griffins tell. And of course, we're going to go and, return and rename this. Who is this? The old rubber. Region wide reorganized supply network. Uh, military training would not be bad. I would like to get more. Oh, we have enough stability as is. So another comment was saying, This is the best mod for our laid down, relaxing playthrough most of the time. And someone else says, I've watched previous playthroughs of this mod and surprisingly been amazing. And someone else says, Thank you for more Equestria. Or, Can you do Mersock New Maryland next? Uh, we'll see. Maybe. Fall of Aquila? Oh boy. Oh, there goes those guys. Uh, still no manpower. Or pony power, unfortunately. Wow. All. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Developed science base. Cost 40 political power. Okay. Well, we lose some of that stuff, but okay, sure, why not? Nice. Anything over here? Cast one? Yeah, that'd be good to get. That'd be very good to get, actually. Here, just do that. There we go. Mm, are we missing anything else? Nice, good okay, stuff for that. Land Doctrine. Over there too. Just in case. And description for now. Cool, keep building. Keep building, 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 building. Exiles Return will be very good too. Fighter and tactical bombers, that's alright, whatever. Well, with that in mind, what else can we do here? Is there is there really a formable? Oh, look at this. Oh, restore sure Carthinia. Why should our prestige be sullied by the falling empire of the north? Or failing empire of the north? The Falkorian queendom has shown its strength and unity. We have united the former lands of the ancient Carthinia and are its undisputed successors. Let us claim what is rightfully ours. Restore. Uh, protectors of New Maryland. The mandate of Stuttenstadt. We look at industries. Integrate Griffinstone. Oh. Rumer and Thy Mouse Schaefen. Oh, that'd be pretty good, dude. Well, I just gotta get more political power first. After this one, all, all hail their majesty. Nice. We're attacking defense. Get a royal bash. Many have considered the monarchy to be a relic of the past, dragging Falkor down, but Princess Maximiliana has proven otherwise and resolved all of our woes. Our city's been restored, the societal divides has been mended, and there shall be peace for our time. Long live her majesty. And let's keep going with some of this, as well as some of, of this. Keep working on the industry. Overall, not bad around here. Support weapons 4. Let's get some better guns, too. That'd be very nice. Um, I would like more stability overall, in all honesty. Do we need more rubber? No, we're actually doing very well on rubber. Very, very good, actually, on rubber. 
Oh, 1013. Grab some of this too, because you can. And better casts. Yes, very nice. Yeah, we're doing actually very well on a lot of the stuff here. My biggest concern is just compliance, resistance, all that good stuff. Well, creating an agency to maybe help put down the triple S. Cool. Very cool. Oh, anything over here? We already have an infantry specialist, don't we? Artillery specialist? Yeah, we already do, so there's no point having that one there like that then. Which is fine, whatever. For tactics. Of course, we can keep waiting and develop more of our military uh, land doctrine. Military land doctrine? Just our land doctrine in general. Uh, 1014, 1013. Artillery is looking okay. Anti air might be something we want to invest in. Get some better engineers, though. Because we probably honestly want to go to war with these guys soon, eventually, as well. 125, 152. So, how can we do this? So, that you to lose. Yeah, that's true. Midoriya. Golden Feather. Ramal. We look at industries. All hail Imperial Majesty. Huh. Are you allied to anybody? The Barony of Antigua, New Maryland. Ah. Antigua, eh? Yeah, well, you know what? We might as well go over, over these guys first. So we'll do this. And we'll do that and see what happens. And we've got about 50 days left, which is quite a bit. National Hero Line will be quite good to get. Um, what do we have here? Political power gain, non core manpower, that's good. Popular figurehead would be good as well. Don't really need it though right now. Civilian stuff. Construction speed's not bad. Cult leader. Uh, operative. Yeah, I like this one. This, this will definitely help us out quite a bit. Three days left. And we'll grab someone else up here too. Nice. Rescue operative. Network intel gain. Three. That's pretty good actually. Let's go with you. I want you to help put down resistance for now. Do that one. Do it over here. That'd be good. We actually, quite a bit of compliance already. It's great. And Indus is going down by a little bit, which is very good. Hey, we're a little bit of pony power too. Man, that's really hurting our factory output though. Even though we're actually doing really well on factory output. What do we have for these divisions? I forget. I'll be honest, it's been a while since I've actually played this. So, with logistics. Yeah, no. We got logistics. So, it's been a while since I've actually played this campaign compared. Um, if you're watching this immediately, yeah, it's just been a while. I've played this. Oh, hail her majesty. Nice. Oh, we get this one too. Oh, yeah. I think I read this one, but our scientists clamor for specialized facilities to perform experiments and research without being disturbed. While well, it's a great expense, they've shown promise given the results we needed, giving us a solid reason to fund these laboratories so that we may continue achieving new heights in science. Yes. A royal bash. Raucous applause. Uh, consume the streets of Falcor today, prompted by the ceremony Princess Maximiliana performed in front of the royal palace, symbolizing the full integration of Falcor back into the Red's rightful home. The citywide festivities ground businesses to a halt, not that any group felt like complaining. All the pent-up energy of the Falcorian people was released in a burst of unrestrained parting and festivities all, all through the day. There was much merriment. For one day, the anguish and loss of the past decades was forgotten, and griffins across Falcor sang the praises of Princess Maximiliana. Long live Falcor. Wow, a hundred and... That's a lot of political power. I forgot about all stuff too, huh? That's good. Um, more divisions? Okay, another division. Yes, 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 please. Yes, yes. Uh, ship stuff. Carrier, air. That's not bad. Light ship, heavy attack. I just want more attack. Armor. Surface visibility. Production cost. I'll go that one here. Four percent is pretty good. Twenty-eight percent, twenty-six percent, huh? Twenty-eight percent. It's still going down. Maybe. Yes, it is. That's really, really, really and good. Here we are, at everyone. Now we're at war with these guys. Hopefully, we can do okay against the Duchy of Griffinstone. But you never know what might just happen. We should do okay, though. In all honesty, we should do okay. Fighting over rivers does kind of suck, but that's okay. That's what we're here for. Good, good, good. Get up to there and cut them off if you can. The fall of Griffins. Oh wow, well. that was really fast. Um, yeah, they're taking a lot of losses. A lot more than I expected. Then again, I did throw in a few planes here, which is actually really nice. I'm not doing a lot of damage. Some capture tactical bombers. Oh, cut off. Are they cut off? Yes, they are. God, I love how fast this mod moves. Like, the devs have done just an incredible job with this mod. I love it so much. The devs don't get enough credit for what they've done in the, for this mod. They really don't. 
Infantry von the Feveros. Um, I guess we do this one too. Mobile tanks. We won't use light tanks. We'll definitely use these guys. Oh, he's that one right now. Ah, uh, naval might. Naval combat is no simple slugging match. Positioning, coordination, and precision will carry the day. It does not matter how far we've come. We cannot lightly deploy our heavy ships when careful planning can multiply their efficiency. Now, we've gone ahead and started justifying on these fine, fine folks, which means we'll have to go to war with these guys, too, because they're guaranteeing each other. So, um, I'm going to pull you out. When in doubt, pull out. Life lessons, everybody. And then, ooh, artillery general. Uh, Gianna Garibaldi. You go right there and do that. Well, you two go right here and do that. Hopefully we can hold them off for a while. Uh, naval stuff, 1914, normal coordination. Uh, naval aviation, war changes constantly. Where once ships were built out of wood and driven by sail, and the air contested only through griffin wings, now the great powers of the world are be building metal behemoths from which metal birds can take off. Bring the full force of the modern air force wherever needed in the world and to rule the ocean. A patient and courageous admiral, wielding his ships carefully but decisively, has the power to change the course of not just battles but wars. As we work to master this art, we are making our admirals heroes like few have ever seen before. But also, we have race for the bomb down here. We cannot allow others to develop an atom bomb before us. We must do whatever it takes to ensure our technological superiority is not threatened. Ah, yes. A little bit more war. A little bit more conflict. Good times. Now, these guys have been called in as well, but we should do okay. Hopefully, we can move quickly through this group here. And not too, too poorly, but uh, naval aviation? War changes constantly. Where once ships were built out of wood and driven by sail, and the air contested only through griffin wings. Now the great powers of the world are but building metal behemoths from which birds can take off, bringing the full force of the modern air force wherever they need in the world. My bad, I think I just tried that one. I can't think anymore. Drool the ocean. A patient and courage courageous admiral, wielding his ships carefully but decisively as a power. I just read this one as well. Oh my goodness, I am going crazy. I apologize. I just can't remember what I'm doing in life, in life anymore, apparently. I'm going nuts. I'm just going to go nuts. Anyways, thanks for watching. We're not done yet, but thanks for watching anyways. Um, honestly, come back over here. We're going to need you like this. Yeah, I can't think anymore, apparently. Through all the oceans. And then, princesses of the sea. Battleships are very, 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 very expensive to build, but their firepower is unquestionable. We decided on a compromise between these factors in the shape of battle cruisers. Ships meant to be much less expensive to build, yet with firepower and armor almost equal to the queens of the, the ocean. And my god, do we love queens on this channel. What are we missing here? Planes. Attack bombers. Just planes. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of planes. So are we down here too? Oh, we are. That's good. Um, we got to be very decisive how we attack, though. Especially over a river. Oh, boy. You in there? That'd be good. Good. First of many. Uh, I'll go right there. About, and I want you actually to go in there. Oh, we actually did. Oh. Lost some planes. That's okay, though. Yeah, manpower is so precious, so let's hold on to that. I think making a circle of that would be delightful. So we should go right there. There you go. And there he goes, ball. Delicious. Ah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that should definitely help us out a little bit more. And now we're going to go into here and then do that. And do that too. Alright, what's next? More air support. I don't know how much air superiority these guys have. None? Oh, they have 15 planes. Oh, so nice. I'm glad we messed into some planes. Get some attack bombers. Early bombers, I guess, going first. Don't let them move. Should be pretty easy to take him out. Thank you, sir. And go in as well. It's only two divisions, but it's okay. And they're gone. Three, two, one. Let's grow. You should be able to do okay. War propaganda, because we can. War bonds, because we can. Nice. Yeah, I think at this point, we're doing really, really well with these guys. Oh my god, well, they just took 70,000 more casualties. <clears throat> After this, they're allied to all these guys over here. They're not doing great. The Harmony Pact is doing okay-ish. Uh, how fast would it take for us to go to war with these folks? It's a bit too long. We need to go to war with these guys, though. So, take our state, yes, please. Focus on them first. Oh. Oh. 
Meritocracy of Witland. Oh, crap. Well, that's not good. Struggling a little bit here, but that's okay. Actually, how can we get to the next level? Oh, we need improved infantry equipment 3. Okay, that's fine. Force it. There you go. Not bad. Princesses of the sea. And there it goes. That's good. Okay, so I need to take you guys off, actually. Now, go back to you. You all have to do that. Now, we get to do this. You get to come down here. Do that. Half of you guys coming down there to do that. New Maryland. Yeah. Integrate these guys. Has to reestablish the Carthinian Empire. Can't do that yet without Sikimian. Oh, that's a difficult one to do. Oh, that sucks. Learn that too because you can. Common recruits. Gonna get some artillery. Logistics. Couldn't do this one. So. Recovery rate, better HP. Nice. In the meantime, go and get some of that. That's nice. That's fine. How many divisions they got? Probably quite a few, which does suck for us. Alright. Not bad. Keep training, 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 training. And maybe we'll get to the next focus as well. Subsidized sold sud folk dockyards. Naval strategy is built strategy and our capability cap capacity is pitiful. Uh, heavy investments in the Sud Folk will give us capacity to begin producing ships in earnest. And the gun facility is not bad. 1014, of course, grab some of that. And then, striking across the seas. The war needn't stop at the enemy shores. If we have the ships for the job, we can strike even beyond them, bringing our army to bear not just over the land, but over the seas as well. Yes. You gotta do it too. This has to be a very strong defensive war, so be it. I already get all this stuff, which is very nice. And what else? How much are we getting every day? 1.25 is not bad. How are we doing over here? Plants pretty good. It's, yeah, 50%. That's pretty decent. Vision, 10, 15. Grab some more defense, because we're good. My god, we're going to need it. Fighting spirit is pretty good. And 10, 15. Anything else there? Not really. Armored trains, because we can. Get the Jojo Islands, which sound very cool. Let's go and stop training immediately. Save, maybe, so we don't all die. 3, 2, 1. Let's see what happens. Okay, stop training, stop training. Alright, let's save. Guys, this is going to go very probably poorly for us. Crap. Can you guys go right on in? Eh, to a degree, yeah. To a degree, yes. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Doing okay down here, too? All right, not bad. Might just do okay here. Maybe. Losses. I mean, Schnikes. Very much Schnikes. Four strikes. Ooh, improve. Yeah, I'll do because cam. Slow to artillery. Industry. Well, we got bonuses for this one, so we'll do that one instead. Ooh, supply's going to be very bad through here, I bet. Oh, there's a supply base down here. There's nothing connected up here, though. Which is very not good. That's actually very, 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 very bad. Force it. Move through this faster. You find them, you kill them. Alright, anything else? Tactical bombers, of course. Uh, get some more support equipment. We could probably use that quite a bit more. There we go. Got the port there. That's good. I hope we can peace out with the main group by the sea knights. Attacks across waters have happened ever since the old days, but this method too is turning into an art form. Especially trained griffins can negate the difficulties inherent in such attacks and make sure that the water no longer is a shield for our foes. That'd be a good thing. That'd be a very good thing, actually. Early bombers? Yeah, let's go to that one first. Like that. If we can, or if we are allowed to. Which we should be allowed to. Ooh, that's not good. Doing okay around here? Still pushing in to a degree. Supplies are looking not terrible. Over around here, not bad. Up here, not bad. Over here is very, quite not good. That's okay. We've lost 100. Oh my goodness. How much more manpower do you have? 
Not a lot, which is good to see. Oh, hello. Oh, we're down here too. That makes sense. Let me just hurry up, and then we'll probably start, stop attacking for a little bit. Oh, yeah, but still pushing into a degree. Cut him off. Come on. God dang it. Come on. See you next. Alright, so we lost what, 200,000 pretty much. And I'll take another attack as well. Alright, that's fine. All but you, you, and all but you go right there. And I want you to go. You should be able to win. You, in all honesty, should be able to win. Sky Navy, that's good. Good. Keep these guys in place. Good. Good. Nice. Go in. Immediately go in. There's no way they can get enough supply through here. This is a very costly way to do it, but it still works. What else do we need? Midoriya? Sukumi on Parishes? Nice. Adaptive lines are good. Look at all those divisions trapped. 20 divisions literally trapped in there. Go in together, you ding dongs. Oh, I can't even force a goddamn attack. What a waste of lives. Good. Kill them all off, pieces of garbage. Half a million? Not enough. Get in there first. Three, two, go. Should be we went up there, which is good. Railway guns, I like those. See, so you're done. And that's Folk Street for now. Go right there. No. You need to force the attack. I'm sick of not having enough command power. This is so stupid. I hate the supply system down here. It's so bad. Let them spread out that way. It's so stupid. I don't understand how they're able to hold out. But literally, no, go in. I'm done. Just go in. Any damage you do, they can't replace. We're still mobilizing more, so I don't care at this point. So incredibly stupid. Even with logistic companies, there's not enough supply down here. And in what world does that make sense? This is pissing me off so much right now. Kill them every single one of these stupid little buggers off. 400,000 loss probably in the end. Honestly, I'd just exterminate everyone down here if I had to. In all honesty. Right. So, at least we're at peace now, right? And let's see this one. That's good. Alright, that's good. There we go. We're starting with Carthinia. United Kingdom of Falcoria, which is good. We're going to get Griffin Stone, which is nice. And then... This guy's going to have to die. Stupid pieces of garbage. I hate, I hate, 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 hate. So, sometimes, the new supply system in Hoi 4, ever since No Step Back, it's really screwed things a lot over. It makes a lot of sense to have, but it still screwed a lot of things over to achieve any sort of victory. Good God, I hate it sometimes. Um, what else do we have? New Maryland will kill them off. Rumair. Where's Rumair? Ah, Rumair. Mm hmm. I think we peace out with them too eventually. That'd be nice. Um, F4 supply. God dang supply. Shrinkage stopping. Um, in all honesty. I probably don't need you down there anymore. I'm gonna put you up here. Cover that area. And then cover that area too. And then you guys, I'm gonna have you guys come down here. Help us figure out what they have down there. We probably don't need this too. Get some more bombers. Be nice. Oh, oh look at all that. Now we have more than enough manpower. More than enough. Oh, that's good. 300? Holy crap. That's a lot of manpower needed. But this mod is so an incredible mod. I still love this mod a lot. It's so good.
such a good mod, it's ridiculous. Alright. Blacktail's gone. Not our problem for now. It's fine, and... Oh, yeah. Good. Get more cask, get more planes. We're gonna have things to build. Tactical bomber freeze. Fighter, yes. When in doubt, build more roads, because you can always build things faster. Even though we can build more important stuff like factories here. Let's give them something to start with. This mod runs so so well. It, it, it's it's really just ridiculous. Put that right there. Grab two of those. It'll be good. I should be very, very good. Save the political power. So we go down to the description. Eh. Alright, and there you go. Demobilize a little bit more. Uh, where are we at? I think we're pretty good for this. That'd be fine. You guys could use a little bit more of that, and that, and that. Thank you. Thank you. Supply issues here? No, not yet. Oh, they have supply issues. I wonder what was wrong with these guys. They're the ones with the supply issues. Which is fine with us. And actually, uh, we'll just find them about halfway through there, which is not bad. It'll be done in no time, of course. 10 15. Actually, let's grab this. Synthetic refineries. Very nice. Railway guns. I love the railway guns. 10 15. Doing all that stuff. I never use magical equipment. Maybe I should. Let's grab that. Ink, thank you. There we go. Now we can do the other stuff. So this stuff. Ooh. We need Grenda. Speed. Even more soft tackers would be so nice. Strategic Warfare is not bad too, but I, I've only d gone down this way, so. Uh, heart attack and piercing. I don't really have tanks. So that'd be kind of a waste. We're using just infantry, so. And that's up the artillery out, and, I, and I've been trying to maximize artillery as much as possible, so. Nice. When in doubt, more railway guns will be built and they will come on out. Very good. Planes. Fighters. Bombers. There you go. Fly. Fly, 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 fly away. We should be able to win and just pretty much win instantly against these guys as my hand is starting to fall asleep a little bit. Oh boy. What do we have up here? Anything? Do we get more cores yet? No. New Maryland, Rumair will get them next, and then, and you're, oh, you're over there, that sucks. Who is this? Looks like a German flag to me, Lady Tello von Levani, New Scandinavia Burns. Republic of Asterian, all right. A lot of manpower, they don't scrape in the barrel though. You guys have quite a bit of manpower to themselves, all right. So be it. Hopefully we can do well here. Should be able to. Level four only. Prince Consort, eh? Alright, so how much more how many more days do we gotta wait? Uh, about a week. And the Griffonian Empire is making me a little concerned right now. By a little concerned I mean quite concerned. That's a big boy. That's a thick thuddy daddy. Excuse me, I clicked on this. Thank you. Just fine. It's gonna take a while. There we go. I don't think we'll run into too many issues down here. Press a duchy. Now, they're still holding out over here. Barely, but they're still holding out. Man, we are just spreading out. Yeah, spear firepower is the way to go. Wow, they've lost six million. Changing lands have lost only a third of what they've lost. We are racking up their casualties. Love it. Hey, they died. Kingdom of Adina's done. Lots of couple planes here and there, you know, so be it whatever. Can you piece out with them? We should be able to, right? Or bonds? Why not? Fuel? Why not? Let me see anything besides planes, maybe? Maybe not. 
Um, signal companies. Ooh, Knights Max Speed. Everyone gets more speed. Soft stack, and you get more recon on your recon. Um, not really using tanks. Pair drop, we're not using either. Supply gear's not bad. Ooh, get more soft stack and artillery. Motorized, we don't really have any motorized or mechanized, so... I honestly prefer this one. Do we have... You know what? We'll go this way. Hmm. So if they're allied, you guys. You guys can be there. Well, can we do that? Nah, not really. I'm gonna need you over here. Yeah. Is that it? In terms of ability to get over there, I think so. Of course, there are a lot of mounts over here too, so we gotta keep that in mind. Nice. Two. Thank you. Some of that as well. And artillery. It's a little ahead of time, but not really. Plus, I scored three attack bombers. Train if you need to, train if you need to. Because it. What, what? Are you kidding me? Game! What did you do, game? What? Seriously, I have to redo this because the game screwed up? Thanks a lot, game. Ding dong, game. Because I did see this. It was very nice. There you go. Very good. It's going to take a while for us to get there. How do we peace, peace out with these guys? Isn't there usually a way to? I hope the changings win. We just peace out with them. Um, million manpower, basically the same. Ooh, they're out of manpower up there, though. Uh, you know what we could do? Let's do some resistance suppression. I'll put down a lot of resistance, hopefully. Because that's all core now, which is nice. This is all core up here, too. This should be core eventually. I'll put down resistance. Yes, please. Just in case. Oh, we have Scorching Sun. The sun is feeling unnaturally bright and warm. Giving troops on the field a much harder time. The civilians aren't much better off either. Choosing to allow themselves in their homes to escape this fury of the sun. Well, that sucks. Nice. And 16. Just like so, yeah. No, I guess I'm over there. That's fine. Um, nothing down there. Nothing pretty either. Self-loading mechanisms. It's a little bit ahead of time still. More output, maybe? More railway guns, yes? And how many more days do we have left? Oh, about a week. That's really good, actually. Very, 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 very good. Now we're becoming somewhat of a juggernaut down here. Not perfect, of course, but slowly becoming more of a juggernaut. More recovery rate, yes, please. Um, there you go. We now get more railway guns, yes. Good. Is that an anti air division? Yeah, holy crap, I've never seen those before. From pick us up brigades. We should be able to win down here. Yeah, they're not really ready for this war. Again, maybe not us either. Can you make it down there? No. Good. Good job, guys. Yeah, just flooding through there. Very good. Thank you very much for the trains. We appreciate the new trains. We have little toys for us. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. You want to force the attack? There you go. Have fun. Get them all off if you can. Oh, hello. Ah, yes.
You guys don't worry about that one. And then rails. Lots of construction of more supply will be needed. Master's Landing. They've lost quite a few. We've done quite a few galaxies of them, which is awesome. Look at that, nice. Beautiful, they're all dead. As they should be. No companies, do we have enough for that? Yes, we do. We got more than enough for that. Oopsie. Crap. Very good, very good. Over here, and just that. Yes, please. Yes, that's a lot of divisions down here. Why are you in the water? When are they going to capitulate? Oh. Did we already take this out? I thought we did. Go back, go back. There you go. There you go. A lot of political power too. Guys, get on the flipping line. Let's go. We got more convoys to use. Kind of nice. And that division died. God dang it, you ding dongs. Stop going up here. Seriously, I don't understand the frontline system sometimes. When are they going to capitulate? That's stupid. We should not need to invade that. And honestly, we should never need to be able to invade that. To actually fully capitulate them. If anything, we should need to be able to take every single tile that they have, but not have to do some that stupid. Are you kidding me, man? Four. Yeah, it's gonna take a while, but you're not gonna give up. We're gonna die before that happens. Oh, there they go. Nice. Um, I'm going over here. Now it's going to start hurting a war spot, which I don't like. Um, some fighters going here. Some bombers. These guys are really bad. Like, extraordinarily bad. Wow. Game. Come on, man. You know what, screw it. It's gonna just deploy anyways. Whatever. There you go. Oh, 
How much of a navy do they have now? Oh, they got a lot of ships. Crap. Which means we got a bomb loading crap out of them. Two destroyers, not enough destroyers sunk yet. Um, we gotta do have some casts as well. And cast, oh, we got a lot of casts actually. House of Irie, can you guys go win at all? No? Oh crap, no, that's not good. Because we need Rumer. Oh, can we actually invade, huh? All right, well, we do. Please tell me that's enough. For the love of God, please tell me that's enough. Okay, that's enough. Thank God. Jeez, I hate that so much. Oh, we got Prywin. How do we get Prywin? You know what? I'm not going to complain. I'll take it anyways. Thank you, sir. All right, so that's all done. Don't make these. These are really bad. That'd be a waste of manpower. All right, so you guys over there. You guys over here. I, I'll be honest, I don't really trust the uh, Griffin Empire. I, I really don't. Bunch of freaks. Weirdos, some, some might say. You guys actually go in and win? Yeah, you guys suck. Let them come on out. Let them come on in. Let them spread on out. It's fine. I don't really care. Go in there. You guys go in there. You guys go in there. Hey, look. It worked! Yay, good job guys! We won! Thank you, sir. Now, integrate Rumer. Integrate this one state. There to be peace. Voltaire. What was Voltaire? We're taking out a lot. What the heck is Voltaire? Are you flipping kidding me? That is dumb. Are we supposed to get some sort of deal where we just peace out with them? Why don't we get that? I need you, I need you, I need you. And do this, this. Do that. And more up there, too. Alright. Factory, why not? Repair, which should not take very long at all. And. Going to do that as well. Whatever federation gets formed. Fine with us. Well, bad word. Well, you know what? That kind of sucks. I don't like that we didn't get a note about that at all, though. Why don't we get a note? Why don't we get told about that? Come on. That's so stupid. Which means I'm going to do some funky stuff off screen to see if we can just get the new protector of New Maryland. Well, everyone, here we're at. New Maryland is now capitulated. The Changelings won, and now are now called Changelingia. And they, they've done their stuff over here. Which, Crystal Empire looks a little different. They're Trimble. Very cool. But we're still at war with these guys. Here are the casualties. We've lost 304,000. We've killed off almost 5 million. I had to do some funky stuff with these guys. Didn't delete any divisions. Didn't delete any equipment. But I had to make sure that they just would not attack us too much immediately yet. So I did give it some time. Uh, we were running out of quite a bit of fuel, in all honesty. They've got a lot of planes. Like we, thought, we I thought we had a lot of planes. They've got a crap ton of planes. Um, other than that, not much else has really happened. Um, let's go over and do some suicide pills because those are very yummy. 
But uh, they got a lot of manpower, a lot of fuel. They've got a lot of divisions, a lot of equipment left still. But hopefully we can strike out and do really, really well against them. Obviously we'll see. We'll do the best we can, no guarantees. We got a lot of planes and whatnot, so. And if we can't do well, then we'll stop the attack. I'll go with ambush just in case. And anything else around here? Not too much. I guess we were training these guys to stop and fill. That's fine. I kind of doubt we could fight over the river there. Um, yeah, that's going to be pretty butchery, honestly. So, we'll see what we can do. Get some more extraction. Oh, now we've actually linked up with everybody, which is actually really nice. If that's the case, you can go over there. You're going to go ahead and do that, too. Do that. And then, I don't want to get rid of these generals, but it'll be what it'll be. Twenty-five, you can only have one more over there, that's fine. Alright, so you guys have the main front line. You guys have to guard everything. But you, on the other hand, you're going to focus on the right side here. You should do okay-ish. Which you actually will limit how many planes we have in the air right now, god dang it. Uh, 800, there you go. Keep up whatever we've been doing. We've had a lot of planes in the air, like normal. So let's get back and just hold the front line for now. Um, supplies probably not looking super great. We're running out of a lot of manpower apparently too. Oh crap! Um, supplies really bad, terribly bad. Um. A lot of that stuff right there. Eh, I guess we'll see. They'll probably start attacking us too eventually as well. That was a pretty nice push that we did have, but we'll see. As long as your planes still hold out for us, that's all that really matters in the end. So... Oh, well, we can attack him again, maybe. Especially with uh, this. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, we're talking about like high casualties. Like, really flipping high. Honestly, probably need to remobilize. So, let's do that. And... Sorry, the there we go. You should be able to do pretty darn well. It's almost a trickster too, which is great. <clears throat> but yeah, this is this is just insane. I mean, you kind of expect it to be insane when, when, at this point of the campaign, so... We're going anyways. Let's see what you can do, especially if we're fighting over a river like this. You actually might be able to do really well, yeah. Let you open up another front that they have to guard even better than this, so. I think we'll have to stop again eventually. They have almost four. They have basically have 400 divisions. We definitely don't have that many. We're still using the same combo width. Uh, we do have signal companies on our guys, too, so. That's really good. You guys are going to spread out like crazy, hopefully. Disrupt some enemy lines, stuff like that. Or I might just use cons commands in the end. There's like a lot of cons commands, because it's, it's just nuts. Yeah. Obviously, in sequence would be best, but still. Ooh, I guess you do it like right there. That would be delightful. And circle and kill all these divisions off. Oh, look at all these guys in the water. It's cool. It's good. Nice. Not bad. Anything else here? Not really. Gorilla fighter. Any officer correlations? No. All right. Whatever. I mean, overall, not bad, but that's a lot of losses. That's an off, god awful amount of losses. I wish we didn't go to war this because we can just have a new protector of New Maryland if we just had um, peace, but they don't want peace. We're doing a good amount of damage though. Like this is this is a really good amount of damage. Like, I'm surprised we actually have air superiority. I don't understand why we do, but I'll take it. Uh, they're starting. They're quickly running out of manpower. Then again, we need manpower to help like garrison areas too. So and let's come over here. Go to logistics, because right now supplies are looking really bad for us. Synthetic processing is fine. Get some extraction. Barrow. 
Police? Dang it. Maybe he's waiting to circle a few more divisions. And get a few more divisions as well. Look at all the stuff we researched. Not really going to use, though. More guns. There you go. If you can. Supplies are too bad to operate there. Look at the center part of the line. Over here. Go to infrastructure this time. Right. Gotcha. See to that. One or two million map are left. So now they have some artillery and some guns. This hasn't really changed too much. They ran out of anti air, which is good. Uh, so they got plenty of planes themselves. They made quite a bit of anti air earlier, which is good. Uh, yeah, we're not really doing well anymore, which does suck. Get some radar up here. Some radar up here. Air bases, air bases, air bases, and air bases. Loads of air bases. That'll definitely help us out. Get ambushers as well. Manpower won't really be an issue as long as we can keep, you know, conscripting more. Because they're at what? Almost 8 million losses. Yeah, they cannot replace that many guys that fast. Before already, which is good. Shot down a few an enemy sh ship, or blew it up, I guess you could say. Don't really need to change anything there either. Good working conditions. More stability would be nice. We could try it. What's we gonna do with the political power, right? We're an empire. Slowly losing guns and artillery. Slowly losing their manpower. Get their bombs would be very nice too. All right, ten to eighteen. Let's come over here. Slightly better recon. And for us, we have we have more than enough. I'm like I'm not even worried about that. We've done really well in terms of equipment. Get more planes. I guess air superiority is really the way to go. This definitely helps us out though. Radar intelligence helps us so much. Boost forcing these guys is just really stupid, but I don't know the uh, changing it right now. Don't even get that. Oh, there goes I. That's good. Ramao, Lamao. yum yum. Okay, these guys are just expanding back down here. But then again, once we're losing over there, we're kind of doing okay-ish over here. Okay-ish. Go in as well because they are banning the line a little bit, which is nice, 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 nice. Can you get to there? I draw drills. Come over here for 20, 10, 19. Right, get some salt rifles. And we lost about 1.15 million. We've killed almost 9 million of them. Even though they're on screen in the barrel, we get only 5,500 a month. They're less than a million ish. Roughly a million. That's pretty bad. Of course, they're on total mobilization too, but still. Fighters. Fall Griffin Hunt. Hey! Not bad. The unfortunate thing is the more we take, the more manpower we have to use up. We're still mobilizing. Yeah, and we're not even close. So, all don't serve. I think you guys force it. Force him to die. Because they, they don't have enough tanks either. Oh crap. Are you kidding me, bro? Well, we're really pushing over here. This area, was, I thought it was going to be a little more difficult, but just so many divisions. Probably, they're approaching 10 million casualties. There's no way they can replace that. Less than a million manpower left. We don't have a lot of manpower left. We really don't have a lot of manpower left. Plane wise, we're doing great though. Like, we're doing really fucking great. Just keep mobilizing. I don't understand why we can't go to close economy. 
Even in a situation like this, so it can't go to close economy. My goodness, they're pushing really hard up in the north. And we're about to run out of manpower. Captain and Burke, how far are they capitulating? Only halfway. God dang. And now we're out of manpower. Okay, so where are you guys at? You guys are doing okay. Actually, you guys are doing great. You're clogging up a lot of supplies, so do that. I want you to just fill out this way, too. We came all the way back down south, which sucks for us. Go, 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 go. You're doing great around here. We need the manpower, man. You gotta have it. Over 10 million losses. Barbrook is gone. Crap. I hate how overpowered they are. I mean, at the end, the Falkorian Queen needs just a little more strength down here or something. Because we can't deal with this. We just cannot deal with this, which is stupid. How are we supposed to win against these guys? At, at, at the end game, they're just way too strong. Literally have to eliminate 10 million manpower. And look at that. That's ridiculous. I don't want to use any more consequence because this is so, so stupid. Even with air mega, like absolute air superiority, we still can't do anything against them. That is not good. That is incredibly stupid. So, what are they going to give up? I'm mean, seriously. They basically have no manpower left. Now they're out. Now they're finally flipping out. That's so stupid. Now that they're invading us. I mean, I hate this. I hate this so much. Come on. I'm not going to retreat her guys. I'm not, I refuse to. This is stupid. We should be plopping these guys out immediately. How are we not winning? Oh my god. We're still mobilizing an insane amount. Come on. <sighs> yeah, I would use Cons Commands. I'm sorry, but this is so stupid. I well, everyone, I apologize. I tried not to use Cons Commands, but... Honestly, this, our nation needs a buff. At least in, in terms of like, manpower down here. It, it's We're just too weak. We're just way too weak to take on the Griffonian Empire. And it's just not fun. By the, by the time you get here, it's really, really not fun. We have to eliminate over almost 12 million manpower. What's the point of playing this if, you, if that's what you have to do for this? This is so stupid. I hate this so much. And yet, they're still able to resist this somehow. I, I don't understand. I do not understand. When you have absolute aerial domination, basically. And yeah, we don't have enough divisions, but that's because we don't have enough of a population base down here at all to do anything. All these divisions died. Oh my goodness, that's so bad. It's so bad. It just, just does not make any sense. How are they able to push and do anything without air superiority at all? Whenever I don't have air superiority, I can't push. But when they have it, or when they don't have air superiority, they can do really well against us. Just just things that doesn't make doesn't ever make any sense. This, this was a waste of war. I, I hate this. I should not have done this. This is pathetically just frustrating. It's so unfun doing this. And that will teach me in the future not to do this in the in the future, but there's nothing we could have done. They went to war with us. So I hated this. I hated every second of this. I wasted like an extra like hour or two to do this, but going to the success of the Griffonian Empire? Pfft. Wow. What a waste of time. That, and honestly, that was a waste of time to me. That, that We got nothing out of that except death. Savage New Protector New Maryland? Why? Why, why did they peace out with us? Someone's could have been completely avoided if this was just peace out with us. But that really pisses me off. Like, that, that really sours me at the end of this campaign, which should not have soured me because there's nothing you can do against it. It's just broken at the end, and our kingdom just does not have enough strength or manpower or population to do anything, which is really flipping stupid. But if you enjoy the campaign regardless, oh, look at that. You have a good TM. 
Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign where I'm not going to play as a Griffonian Empire. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.